Hello again, it's me here, June. Um, just have a video to make today, which is a little bit different to the videos that I've made up to now, in that it doesn't really relate to makeup or products or anything like that. Um, but I was prompted to make this video by a conversation I had with somebody the other day uh, in work. Um, sorry, I'm a bit of a mess at the moment. <laughs> it's very windy out today. Um, a conversation I had in work with a lady and I was also watching a few videos. Um, I'll post a link to a video I was watching last night by um, The Real Tyler, I think, is his channel name. And he's a really nice guy. He makes really um, thoughtful videos uh, where he discusses various subjects that are obviously important to himself and, you know, what you'd feel to be his generation um, and issues that affect them. And one of the things that uh, what what he's basically saying is that people should accept themselves for uh, who they are, regardless of, you know, what size they are. And it reminded me of a con the conversation I had the other day with a lady who I know for a few years and um, she would have been very, very overweight at some at one point in her life. I mean, very overweight. Um, so much so that, I mean, her health would have been suffering and, you know, she she was she was very depressed at the time. And um, obviously, you know, the weight became a great fixation with her and a lot of her depression, poor self-image began to kind of revolve around around the weight problem. So I met her the other day and I couldn't believe um, how much weight she'd lost. She had really, I mean, she was half the woman <laughs> she used to be. She had lost about, um, I think, about uh, 84 pounds or something. You know, the equivalent of six stone. And uh, so I was talking to her and I thought, wow, you know, I said, wow, you know, you look really great. You must be delighted. And she just burst into tears. And um, she said, you know, um, I thought when I lost all this weight, that I would be happy again, but I'm not. I'm no happier than I was when I was fat. Um, in fact, she was incredibly depressed and um, I mean, clinically depressed and uh, very, very tearful. Um, you know, her self-image hadn't improved. Uh, her self-esteem hadn't improved. She was still the same insecure woman, except just a much smaller one, you know. Um, the only thing that had improved about her life is that now she, you know, she could walk into a, into a shop and buy clothes. She didn't have to purchase from a catalogue anymore. And that was the only thing that had changed. In fact, you know, she was now left with this complete sense of inadequacy um, and confusion. You know, uh, why, why don't I feel happy um, now I'm skinny? You know, why is this cloud still hanging over me? So we discussed it and, you know, really what emerged was that you know, I th I think sometimes um, being overweight can stem from kind of, emo you know, emotional issues that will predispose you to depression anyway. And I think you can become depressed over time and weight becomes the fixation. You tend to blame everything on your weight. So if you're depressed, well, it's got to be because of my weight. And that becomes a very obvious, very um, visible reason for you to be depressed. And everyone else assumes the same. So nobody ever bothers to scratch the surface and say, well, you know, hold on. Is it really to do with the weight problem? Is there more more to this than that? And so I think it, it sort of puts off the inevitable day when you have to face the issues that are underlying all that. Um, the things that will make you want to eat for comfort, um, which will lead you to become depressed in the first place and overweight. So I think it's important, you know, for people to realize that, you know, your weight is really just one issue. There are probably a whole lot of underlying issues there that are bringing you to the place that you're in at any given moment in your life. And before you attempt to lose weight, uh, don't assume that losing weight is going to solve all your problems. Because in my experience, and I have seen a lot of people in my time who have been through the same process of weight loss, um, 
it is not going to solve all your problems. You know, you are still going to have bad days. The way you see yourself is so tied in with your mental self-image as opposed to your actual physical self-image. And that's borne out by, you know, people who suffer from anorexia, no matter how thin they are, they will always see an overweight person in the mirror. So when you lose all that weight, you're still not necessarily going to love yourself anymore. So that was just what I wanted to say, mainly what I wanted to say about that issue. Um, just to be aware of it, that weight loss is not going to solve all your problems. Um, it is important to be a healthy weight. And I mean, I'm, <laughs> I, I, I've struggled with my weight for years, um, but I, I, I kind of have been on top of it for a while and I'm getting there. Um, but I know that I, you know, when the day comes that I can put on a size eight or whatever, a size 10 dress, I won't necessarily look in the mirror and be perfect and feel that my life is now complete because it won't be. Uh, I will still be insecure. I will still have personal problems. Um, and you have to deal with those issues first uh, before you tackle your weight issue, because I don't think you'll ever successfully lose weight until you deal with those problems. Second thing I wanted to say was that I have seen a lot of people lately going on mad kind of um, high protein diets where they're basically starving themselves and losing a lot of weight in a very short space of time. And really, I mean, in the long term, it is not the way to go um, because firstly, when you starve yourself, what you are doing is you are depriving your body of calories. So your body has to burn off fat. OK, that's we all appreciate that. Our bodies have not evolved in time with our lifestyle. So your body does not know that you're doing this and um, that your mind has decided to starve it of calories. So your body thinks, OK, there's a famine. Um, there is obviously a famine. There must be some reason why suddenly, you know, I am not receiving my, my normal nutrition on a regular basis. So your metabolism will slow down. You will burn calories much more slowly than you normally would if you were eating sensibly three meals a day with a good balance of carbohydrate, protein and fat. So what happens is obviously the starvation works. You lose weight, you burn off fat, you will lose a good bit of weight and you'll be quite delighted with yourself after a month or two, you will have dropped so many pounds. The problem is that your metabolism is now still in famine mode. You are still not burning up calories uh, as quickly as you should. So you are not gonna stay on this starvation diet for very long. Eventually you are going to lapse. You're gonna go back to the way you were before because you have deprived yourself for so long, you are going to go right back to the way you were before. You will eat as you did before. All the problems that caused you to eat too much in the first place will still be there. But the problem is that now your metabolism has slowed right down and you are going to pile on that weight twice as quickly. Now, hands up if this has happened to you because it's happened to so many people. Um, and a lot of you will know exactly what I'm talking about if you've ever had weight problems. So what you've got to do is eat when you're hungry. Eat slowly. Enjoy every mouthful of food that you take in. Chew it slowly. Put your knife and fork down between mouthfuls. Put your sandwich down. Eat slowly. Enjoy the sensation of eating. Enjoy the taste of your food. What will happen then is that you're getting more positive feedback to your brain, your stomach will actually feel full more quickly. And then when you get the sensation just under your ribs that your tummy is full, be sensitive to that and stop eating at that point, even if your plate is still half full. Don't, you know, you've got to get around this programming we all have, like finish out what's on your plate, like your mom telling you, you know, eat your greens, finish your food. There's starving children in the world. Yes, there are starving children in the world. That's not why you should finish everything on your plate, you know, put half of it on your plate and give the rest away. Um, so stop eating when you're full. Um, avoid refined sugar. Uh, fruit is fine. Eat what you want, when you want. 
you know, but stop when you're full. And your body will take in what it needs and no more. Also, what I tell my patients is, put a note up on your cupboard door, just even a red mark or a little note that says, why? You will look at that before you open that door to get at the biscuits or get at the cakes or get at the chocolate. Why am I eating this food? Am I hungry? Uh, am I bored? Am I pissed off? Am I upset? Do I need comfort? If you're ticking any of those boxes, if you're ticking the hungry box, fine. If you're not, close that door and think about how else you're going to solve that problem because food will not solve that problem for you. Um, Anyway, look, that's just a few things I wanted to say because it has been kind of in my mind a lot and a lot of people have been talking to me about it lately. And um, as I say, that lady really, really brought it home to me that I, you know, I made the assumption that she would be happy because she'd lost weight because I would love to lose that much weight. Um, and she was just falling to pieces. She was falling to pieces. You know, there are other things in her life that will always be there no matter how much she weighs. And... Um, Dealing with that was more important. So that's it. I'm sorry this video is probably really preachy and awful, but I hope there's some good advice in there. Um, yeah, so tell me what you think. And if you have any experiences you want to share, please do make a video or a response or whatever. And thanks for listening to me today. Um, take care, everybody. I appreciate all my new subscribers. Thank you to them all. Um, I, I'm really bowled over by it. It's, it's really amazing. So take care of yourselves and bye-bye. Um, uh,